I thought I got rid of all the lava there. I thought I got rid of all the freaking lava. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, I didn't die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die though. I thought you were dead already. Oh, I thought I got rid of all the lava. So today's episode, I was gonna go mining, wasn't I? Which means we're about to get to a point where I could easily die. How's our farm doing? Our farm's doing all right. Potatoes are starting to grow. Scaling, scaling health. It's April Fool. It's not April Fools anymore, guys. April Fools was yesterday. Don't, don't kill me, Shavaxi. Chat, Shav who, who's the guy that makes this thing again? I have a feeling that every enemy I come across for the next like week is gonna be super freaking strong. All right. Um. So we did get to level eight defense before the end of last episode, which means that we can go full iron armor. Let's see what I can make. Chest plate. Ah, oh, dented. Not great. Not great at all. All right, the helmet's good. Let's go pants. Heavy. God damn it. I can't wear these heavy pants. You know what? Screw it. I'll wear heavy pants. I'll go slow. I don't care. I just need to survive. I might make an iron shield while I'm at it. All right. We are full iron armored up. But let's get a new sword. Fresh. Good. It's long. It's not bad. And then we'll need a couple of pickaxes. Maybe we'll chop down a few more trees real quick just to get some sticks. Oh, it's nighttime. Once we collect a little bit more iron, I'll have to come back and remake some new pants so that I don't have slow stuff and maybe even a new chest plate so I don't have a dented chest plate. You know what I don't like? That's right next to my base. This. Fire enemies could be spawning out of that at any time. I don't know, I want to get like 10 sticks maybe to start. There we go, 13, that'll do. So I have 14 sticks total, that's going to make me a lot more pickaxes. Time to pick a spot and do this. Mm, I want to leave this kind of open for farm expansion, at least a little bit. I could pick one of these houses and start a mine inside the house, or I could start a mine inside this waterfall I mean, that's not a terrible idea all right let's turn on the light level display Gotta make sure everything's nice and lit up so I'm looking to dig to bedrock and I'm hoping that I don't come anywhere near lava caves don't want anything to do with caves but we're going oh we've got a cave holy oh my god that's not a cave that's a dragon's den Oh my god, that's a dragon's den. Are you kidding me? Is this really a freaking dragon's den right here? Number one, that's pretty exciting. Number two, that's fucking terrifying. There's a dragon that lives, like, underneath my house. Is this really a dragon's den? Oh, it really is. It really, really is. I don't see the dragon there. Either it's, like, too dark, or the dragon isn't in its den. <laughs> Not digging that way. Fingers crossed that I live long enough to go explore that. I guess screw it. We'll just start like here. Right out in the open right here. Alright, we're trying this again. And we're immediately into a cave. But at least it looks like a very small cave. Oh, it opens up. It opens up. But we can get some more iron. Which means we can maybe remake one of our pieces of armor. All right, we got seven. That's enough for pants. Let's go cook it. Hey, what, do you live in my house now? What in the world is Neptunian? What? Is this new? What the frig is Neptunian ingots? So Neptunian is essentially diamond armor, only you can wear it earlier. Mountain troll. Was there always mountain troll stuff? All right, do not slow me down, pants. Dang it. Why? It's, you know, slightly faster, but jeez. And let's get back to mining. So since I'm starting a mine, I think I need to very quickly get to level 8 mining. And then I need, like, one or two levels of magic, maybe, uh, so that I can get things like lapis and redstone from mining. Let me just check real quick. Yeah, I need two magic for gold. Four magic for lapis, and that seems about it. So I need to get to four magic and eight mining. 
I can get to the four magic right now. Man, this is very classic Minecraft right here. Digging mines, looking for resources, planting gardens to eat. Oh, we got a trumpet skeleton nearby. There's going to be a cave nearby somewhere. We got to steer clear of that cave. Iron armor, not enough. Not when dealing with RL craft. Not when inside caves. Especially not when we have a weird April Fool's event going on that we do not understand yet. Alright, well, my pickaxe is dead. Okay, now I've got two of you living in my house. Alright, re-rolling pants. God, heavy again? You've got to be kidding me. I've gotten two heavy pants and one thick pants. Oh, we've got a lot of potatoes that have grown, though. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I thought I got rid of all the lava there. I thought I got rid of all the freaking lava. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, I didn't die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die though. I thought you were dead already. Oh, I thought I got rid of all the lava. Oh my god. And I just realized I was digging a mine and I didn't even have any band-aids on me. What is wrong with me? That was actually terrifying. I was down to one heart on my head. I thought I took care of all the lava. What is, what's the matter? Let's try for leggings one more time. Come on, leggings. Hey, we got regular leggings this time. Perfect. Why don't I just cook all my old iron uh, armor here? Cook up this like thick stuff and heavy stuff. I get less than half of the iron back that I spent making it, but still. It's better than nothing. All right, here we go. And, ooh, it's a regular chest plate too. Perfect. Now everything is just normal. So I think what needs to happen is I need to figure out where the new source of lava is. Unless that guy was just left over from last time, which he might be, because I, I swore there were two of those guys in these trees last time. But there's no way he would have been there if I left the game and came back to the game, right? I don't know. We're just going to have to keep living dangerously because we need this farm. We're not going to let lava guys scare us off our farmland. Back into the mines. Sounds like I'm getting further away from the cave. That's good. The problem with mining in this game, you find diamonds at like the same depth that you find lava pools. So in order for me to mine up a whole bunch of diamonds to be super safe, get my diamond armor before I go taking on like a battle tower or something, I'm gonna have to be digging around lava pools, which is gonna be very dangerous. All I need is like one of those guys that can change blocks into lava and he will just rinse me. But with a little bit of luck, We'll be able to collect enough diamond to make a full set of armor and we'll harvest a whole bunch of potatoes and maybe even wheat. We will be golden. The more time I spend in this world, the less safe I feel. I mean, there's a dragon den underneath our house. There was a lava pool next to our garden. All it takes is like one second of bad luck. That's a lot of rocks. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. Cause I got, I've got a whole lot of rocks. Well, we did it, we made it to bedrock. Now let's dig out a nice big space to work with. So far this is turning out pretty decent. Oh, and that was the end of my pickaxes. That's not bad, I can even see the surface from here. That's not all that far down. Now there's three of you that live in here. Great, every time I come home, I have more guests. Yeah, let's expand our farm out a bit. We are close. We are very close. Ooh, we got some cobblestone. Or we got some stone here that we have to turn into dirt. All right, one, two, three, four. And there. There's that. And then there's this one. One, two, three, four. I know I don't have enough stuff to plant even right now. Um... At least I don't think so. I don't know what the season is still, so I don't know if we're going to have enough time to plant all this stuff. But for now, we'll be optimistic and we'll just hope that it grows. 
Apparently I had enough. I had more than enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Holy cow. There's probably no way. Ah, uh, I guess we could go for it to try to get to level 8. And if we don't make it, I'll just go kill like a Maka or two. Sorry, Maka. There we do. We got level 8. So we have just entered the Gucci Age. Also known as the Age of Iron Pickaxes. I guess we'll continue with the stone pickaxe until we break that. And then we got the backup iron pickaxes. We're going to start a path this way. And a path this way. Alright, I'm getting lucky. I haven't come across any lava yet. I should stop saying how lucky I'm getting because once you acknowledge that something good is happening, that's when it gets taken away from you. Every time. Without fail. How many torches did I put down there? Two torches, so I'll, I'll go two torches deep here. So here's how this has to work. If I were to go like here, let's say, then I need one, two, there, one, two, there, one, two, there. I know you, technically you're supposed to go with like three wide in between paths when you're mining, but so yeah, I just go two spaces in between my mining paths. I know it's wrong, but it's what I do. I like doing it wrong. So the reason I've got the light display on is because I know once I reach three, I have to put down a torch and then that will give me an eight, which is the minimum light that I can have before enemies start spawning because once you get down to light level seven then enemies can spawn on that block and I don't want to turn around and have an enemy behind me trying to kill me. I could have probably gone further there because these two spots are bedrock so I probably could have gone a spot further with the torch. Ooh, maybe I could go a spot further with the torch anyway. Put it on two from now on. Let's let's go with that. Here we go. We're replenishing some of the iron that we're losing by using these iron pickaxes. Love to see that, but I would really love to see diamonds. I can't be impatient though. This is still the first path that I've started on my mining adventure. I'll get diamonds eventually. Oh, I mentioned in the last episode why I was stealing torches from everywhere. Because the way that you make torches in this game, they're unlit torches that you light and they fade out eventually, right? But you can actually make the regular torches. I forgot about this. You have to use glowstone paste, which I think is just glowstone dust and coal. Oh, and clay. Or I can use glowstone crystals, I think. Yep, those will make torches as well. And those are vanilla Minecraft torches. I've got a, a chunk of glowstone dust now. So I could start making some torches and I might have to do that pretty soon because I'm running out. I'm only, I have 18 left. Oh, lapis. There, 14. Now, before I close this up, we're looking for more lapis. Oh, no, 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 no. That was bad timing. Oh. I forgot about aphasia, meaning that you can't block. That's dangerous stuff right there. Nice, I got him in a cheese spot where he can't really see me. Oh, oh, oh. oh, nether quartz. Those guys drop nether quartz. I can get a season's clock. Our inventory's full, so we gotta go up. So we didn't get diamonds yet, but we got plenty of iron. And we got nether quartz. And we got some lapis. And we got some levels. Ooh, looks like we got a few more potatoes growing. It's still spring, but let's go find out for sure. Summer's going to be pretty brutal. We do have some ice cubes. We've got the packed ice. So we could make cooling liners. Or we could just make a uh, AC system. I think that'll be smarter. I'll just carry like an AC system with me. I need one redstone. And four nether quartz. And it is late spring. Okay, which means summer's coming up real soon. Which means maybe I should just stop planting potatoes and harvest the, the potatoes that I have right now and replace those with wheat seeds. What did I want to put the levels that I'm getting now? 
Did I want to go all into defense? It's going to be a while before I can get to 16 defense. It would be a lot quicker if I tried to go to level like 8 in attack than if I tried to get all the way to level 16 in defense. I could also go to level 8 in magic and then I would be ready for the inevitable moment when I can use a magic summoning staff which is actually going to be very important for this playthrough. Because I won't be able to fly, I'm going to need to summon help quite a bit. I just don't know where I'm going to get the Ender Pearl from. I could be a bit risky and go into a cave, and I'll definitely find an enemy that will drop an Ender Pearl there. I've gotten really lucky that I haven't summoned a Spriggan yet, or heaven forbid, one of those uh, like Piranha Plant guys. Oh god, if a Piranha Plant popped out while I was out here farming, I'd be in trouble. This is actually going to be so annoying to find the hidden potatoes in here that are like half grown once summer comes. I'll have no idea what's going to be potato, what's going to be wheat. I guess I'll just hang on to the levels for now until I figure out exactly what I want to do. Because if I were to put the levels into attack right now, I wouldn't get to level 8. If I put it in defense, I'm not getting anywhere near level 16. If I put it into magic, I could get to uh, staff level. But I don't yet have ender pearls. All right, back down our very first path. I should probably dig out like all of this coal, right? Get some levels through mining. I'm going a ridiculous distance without finding any lava or really anything. Oh, we've got gold. So we're one step closer to getting ourselves a summoning staff. Oh, I could just put myself in a really small dark room and wait for a Gru to spawn, but that could be dangerous. I don't know if it would kill me. Oh, I hear, like, the cold pools, whatever those enemies are that... Yep, I hear some enemies that summon from some of those cold water pools. I think it's above me and maybe to the left. Man, the hardest part for sure in all of this is going to be killing, uh, killing sea serpents to get Tide Guardian armor. That's going to be some tough stuff. Maybe I'll just go straight to Golem. You think I'll be able to find enough uh, places where I can get runes? Runes are going to be hard to come by without flying. I doubt I'll find enough to make golem armor. I am running out of arrows too. I wonder if I can make more arrows. Do I have the ingredients at home? I know I need feathers. Oh, here we go. First diamond. We got diamonds. All right, let's dig all around this. Make sure there's no lava or anything. So we got seven diamonds in this patch. There he is. Golden, Genoch, oh, Vapula. What in the world, a Vapula? Oh, do Genochs only spawn from coal and then Vapula from like ore? How strong is this level two guy? I can't seem to hit him with my sword even up close. There we go, got him. Got my seven diamonds. We're freaking good. Cool. We're out. We are almost out of torches though, so we might have to turn around soon. But we did it. We got diamonds. I should probably heal up just in case. Yeah, I'm missing half a heart on my head. I'm gonna be super cautious. And there's two again. Ooh, more diamonds. Nice. Nice. How many we're we gonna get this time? So in total, we ended up with five here. Which, that's fine. That's an alright vein. There we go. We got our 12 diamonds. Alright, that is the last torch we have. So we are going back. And maybe we'll dig up some coal along the way. Alright, that's the end of our pickaxe anyway. So let's move on. Oh, we're like out of arrows now. Okay. I hope we have ingredients to make more arrows. Ooh, yep. It looks like it's summertime. Early summer. That's my guess. The wheat is starting to grow a little bit. No more potatoes, right? Early summer. Here we go. Now we're in the Gucci money stage. Oh, look at all that diamond. Oh, it's so beautiful. We, we're at level 18. That's pretty good, too. We've got 13 diamonds. Pretty soon we'll be set and ready to work our way up this tower which 
and will absolutely be the death of us. Guaranteed. Although I thought mining was going to be the death of us and we survived that. So really, who knows? We could go all the way. Alright, 22 sticks. That's good enough for now. I might as well start a little sugarcane farm too. That's not going to give me any uh, levels, but it'll give me sugarcane, which I can use if I need paper, or probably more likely use it to make sugar. Oh, now that it's summer, it's so hot. I need to make myself an air conditioner. Alright, I'm going to wait for wheat to grow. I'm going to break all the potatoes I see. I'm going to wait for the wheat to grow and fill in these spots. I could even cook some of this food for levels. I probably should cook up a bunch of charcoal. Let's do that. Let's start getting some charcoal. Oh, look at all that. Level 21. 21 levels should go a pretty far away on getting me to the next stage of defense. And then I could put on like a diamond hat, maybe a diamond chest plate. That's tempting. But for right now, the most important thing that I need right is cooling coil. There we go. We got two cooling coils. And we're also going to want to make two levers. I'm keeping one cooling coil and lever with me. I'm going to leave this cooling coil in my house so I can turn it on to cool off in the summer when I need to. But right now I seem to be able to stay pretty cool in my house. I think I'm going to call it there though. We made it to summer. We collected a bunch of diamonds. Our farm's coming along great. We expanded it a little bit. We've been very lucky in the mines so far. It's not going to take me very long to turn all of this into wheat. And then I've got two full seasons of just collecting this wheat. And once I collect like this whole thing of wheat and I've got even more, then I'm going to expand. I'm going to double my farm and go out that way. Oh, I'm going to get levels fast pretty soon. So I think in the next episode, I'm going to start out by going back into the mines. I'm going to hunt for diamonds. Oh, that's something I was going to do before I end this episode too, was check to see if I can make arrows right now. No feathers. So I haven't killed any chickens then. Maybe if I can find some chickens nearby, I'll start a little like chicken farm. A chicken farm would be cool too, uh, just because chickens drop eggs and... There's a chance that they'll drop a rotten egg, and if I get a rotten egg and I throw a rotten egg, there's a chance that it will spawn like a cockatrice, I think, and then that cockatrice will be... Mm, I forgot that a dragon lived right over there. But then I can have like a pet cockatrice that will do my bidding for me. Maybe that should be like my strategy this time around, is to just always, everywhere I go, I just roll with like a dozen pets. And they'll be like my minions and they'll do all my murdering for me. Thanks for watching this episode. This this whole series is going to be kind of boring for the first few episodes. The first few episodes are going to be a bit boring. I'll admit it. Tune in next time where we're probably going to be doing more of the same that we did this time, which is farming and mining. And then two weeks from now, hopefully we'll have plenty of levels by then. Maybe we'll do some exploring. Maybe we'll do some battle towers. But for now, I'm going to say adios. Peace. Oh no, if he touches me, I'm drowned. Oh, somebody just touched me. Oh, the guardians are pushing me around. The guardians are pushing me around. Oh, he touched me. I let him touch me and now I'm drowned. Oh, goodbye, guardians. Wait, 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 wait. I'm still alive. Oh, guardians.